Well, hey, everybody, this is Robert, and welcome to Outbreak News TV. And on today's program, I'm going to take a look at Guinea worm disease 2024. Now, in 1980, smallpox was declared eradicated from the planet with the last known natural case of smallpox reported in Somalia in 1977. Smallpox is the first infectious disease to be eradicated with no naturally occurring cases since then. What would be the next human infectious disease to be eradicated? Well, there's polio. Um, there are three serotypes of wild polio virus, types 1, 2, and 3. Now, type 2 wild polio virus was declared eradicated in September 2015 with the last virus detected in India in 1999. Type 3 wild polio virus was declared eradicated in October 2019. It was last detected in November 2012. However, type 1 wild polio virus remains and after seeing only 12 cases reported globally in 2023, that number has shot up to 86 cases to date from the two remaining polio endemic countries Pakistan and Afghanistan. Now, the battles against smallpox and polio were successful or seen success due to vaccines and incredible vaccination campaigns. Now, a third infectious disease, guinea worm disease caused by the nematode parasite, Trochunculus metanensis, is another teething on the brink of eradication. However, Unlike smallpox and polio, there is no vaccine to prevent it. Now, in 2023, the Carter Center, who began leading the international campaign to eradicate guinea worm disease in 1986, when there was an estimated 3.5 million cases in at least 21 countries in Africa and Asia, reported 14 cases in five African countries, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, Mali, and South Sudan in 2023. Now, through November 12th, 2024, the Carter Center reports only seven provisional cases with another month left in the year. And just a note, and you can see the asterisks, Carter Center states that the cases are provisional until officially confirmed in March 2025. Now, the cases reported from only two countries, four cases were reported from Chad and three cases from South Sudan. Um, other great news is the number of guinea worm infections in animals has nearly halved, with 886 cases reported in 2023, and again, 448 cases reported year to date in 2024 provisionally. Well, Dracunculus meninisus is a species that infects humans. It's the same that infects the animals. Therefore, eradication requires stopping infections in both. Considered a neglected tropical disease, guinea worm disease is contracted when people consume water contaminated with tiny crustaceans that carry the guinea worm larva. The larva mature and mate inside the patient's body. The male worm dies. After about a year, a meter-long female worm emerges slowly through a painful blister in the skin. Contact with the water stimulates the emerging worm to release its larva into the water and starts the process all over again. Guinea worm disease incapacitates people for weeks or months, reducing individuals' ability to care for themselves, work, grow food for their families, or attend school. Now, without a vaccine or medicine, the ancient parasitic disease is being wiped out mainly through community-based interventions to educate and change behavior, such as teaching people to filter all drinking water and prevent contamination by keeping patients from entering water sources. In addition, tethering dogs to keep them out of the water and not allowing them to eat potentially contaminated fish, entrails, 
are key factors in preventing guinea worm infection in animals. Now, eradication means a disease has been eliminated worldwide with no natural possibility of return. The final cases are the most challenging, requiring persistence, ingenuity, and enormous amounts of resources to operate in difficult, remote, and often insecure areas. Only one human disease, as I said, has ever been eradicated, and that was smallpox in 1980. For a disease to be declared eradicated, every country in the world must be certified free of human and animal infection, even countries where transmission is never known to have taken place. To date, the World Health Organization has certified 200 countries free of guinea worm, and only six have not been certified. That's Angola, Chad, Ethiopia, Mali, South Sudan, and Sudan. And I hope you like this video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment below, share with your friends, and I'll see you next time on Outbreak News TV.